one of our student in youtube the question she has faced that how does density of states depend on energy in this video we shall briefly uh, discuss about the what is the meaning of density of states and how the density of states is actually depending on the energy so first of all you should know what is the definition of a density of states okay the density of state of a system describes the proportion of states that are to be occupied by the system at each energy so in the simple language density of states is defined as in a number of states per unit volume where number of states is n of e and volume is v where n of e delta e is the number of states within the volume uh, which lies in the energy range e to e plus delta e or it is mathematically represented as a distribution by a probability density function and it is generally an average over the space and time domains of the various states occupied by the system so this is the average over the space and time domains in the states occupied by the system now how density of states is related to energy because density of states is directly related to the dispersion relation of the properties of the system now if there is a high density of state what does it mean high density of state at a specific energy level means that many states are available for that occupation and generally for the matter density of states continues it is like atoms molecules in the gaseous phase okay and for the local variations most often due to distortion of the original system these are often referred to as the local density of states now i shall give you some examples how to find out the density of state for the different variation of energy suppose i am taking the parabolic variation of energy i, I am taking the example of a kinetic energy of an electron in the fermi gas so e can be written as e not plus h cross k whole square by twice m where m is the electron mass and this variation is like this way so this is k vector varying from minus pi by a to plus pi by a and this is omega k now for this kind of variation we can generally write e as e naught plus ck k to the power p where k is e minus e naught by ck whole to the power 1 by p for the n dimensional k space containing wave vectors smaller than k omega n is cn k to the power n to find out the density of states the substitute the isotropic energy relation and it will give you the volume of occupied states and it is given by omega n e is cn by ck whole to the power n by p p minus e naught whole to the power n by p and if you differentiate this volume with respect to the energy it will give the expression for the density of state so dde of omega n e and it will give is n cn by p ck whole to the power n by p e minus e naught whole to the power n by p minus 1 so suppose k uh, k square that is p equals to 2 that is parabolic dispersion which in case of the free electrons in a fermi gas the resulting density of states will actually vary on different dimension for one dimensional state system d1 e is directly proportional to 1 by root e for two dimensional system density of state is independent of the energy e for the three dimensional state density of state is directly proportional to root e and this figure shows the density of state variation for the three dimensional case the dos is directly proportional to root e so whatever i have repeated i am repeating here again that one dimensional system the density of state diverges at the bottom of the band as e drops to e naught for the two dimensional case density of states turn to be the independent of e and the, for the three dimensional case density of state rises as the square root of the energy now suppose we take the variation uh, dispersion variation not parabolic but linear such such as a case p equals to one and such thing applies to the photons acoustic phonons and in this cases the density of states for the three dimension that is one two third that is that it can be written as d1 e is independent of e d2 e is directly proportional to e d3 e is proportional to e square so in this way 
find out the density of state is directly dependent on the energy dispersion relationship and for the different dispersion relationship the density of uh, states will be different for the different dimensions and if the density of state is higher the number of available energy levels are much more higher so how this way the density of states can be related to the energy and the energy can be related to the density of states and in a simple language density of states is number of energy levels by, occupied by unit volume okay so friends you can join our uh, test series and interview guidance with a minimum cost if you are just finding out for a phd or integrated phd physics examination and this platform will be ideal for you. The first jam examination for the full length test, it will be on 1st December 2020. So you can register for that. You have to of you have to contact us on the telegram channel that is physics by IITNs or you can directly mail us da triple s 834 at the gmail.com or and the cost is minimum and or you can also take the interview guidance from us so directly mock interviews and we will clarify your concepts so that you can essentially efficiently join your institute so the fees has been kept minimum that is 699 rupees per one year and for the test series candidates who have already joined our test they will get this interview guidance much more minimum offer uh, cost that is 500 rupees for one year. So contact us on our telegram for more information.